Welcome, here I've got LG Velvet and I'm gonna show you how to use the camera pro mode at this device. So at first we have to tap on the center here to open the camera up and as you can see for now we are in the standard photo mode so let's change it, we can do it by using this settings bar and just simply going to the right to more. And here we have access to other modes of this camera, one of this is the manual camera so let's pick this. And the pro mode gives us possibilities to show shooting parameters by ourselves. This is useful when we want to learn photographic skills and making experiments. So here we are and let me start with this settings bar. Let's go from the right. The first one button here is the shooter speed. So here we can change the time of taking picture. As you can see we have access to this slider and we can pick from 20 seconds of taking picture which is very long and this is better to objects in stable. And we can also go to the end of this to one and four thousandths of it. So this is really short and this is better to objects in move. So this is how it works. We can also easily go back to auto settings by just simply tapping on auto here. And now let's move to the next one button. This is the ISO. So here we can control the camera sensitivity to light and as you can see we have also the slider we can make it less sensitive from 50 to more sensitive to 3 and 2 thousandths of it so this is really cool here and also we can go back to auto settings by tapping on auto here and uh, now let's move to the next one button but I want to show you that when we have ISO manually adjust this is locked so the ISO should be on auto because from for some reasons these two parameters are not cooperating each other to unlock this so this is exposure compensation here we can also manage the light of our picture and by using the slider we can make it more bright or dark as we need this is how it works but remember that when we have this turn it on we uh, can't pick the ISO so it adjusts manually. Uh, when we take an uh, ISO manually, this adjusts automatically for some reason. So uh, this is really weird here. And uh, now let's go to the next one button. This is the focusing. So here we can adjust the manual focus. And as you can see, by using the slider, we can easily do it. And in the green areas, we have uh, places where we have this focus. So this is really cool here. And now let's go to the next one button, to the white balance. So here we can control the temperature of our picture in Kelvin degrees. By using the slider and going to the left, we can make it more cold. And by going to the right, we can make it more warm. So this is how it works. And we can also go back to the auto white balance by just simply tapping on auto. But I want to show you the better uh, button here now. When we adjust all of the settings, sometimes we want to go back to the auto and we can do it by just one tap and tapping this button here. So when we tap on this, all of this came back to the auto settings. This is really cool and useful here. And now let's move here to the left corner at the bottom. When we tap on this, we go to more advanced settings of the camera. Lot of this is also in the standard photo mode. And uh, I want to show you two options. The first one is here, save as RAW. So by tapping on this button, we can turn on saving photos in RAW format. This format is used by professional photographers to taking photos in better quality with more details and post-producting them in graphic programs so this is really pro here and really cool and also use in useful features we have the graphic photos so by tapping on this button we can turn it on and turn it off also this is really cool because here we have some set of existing photos with some parameters and we can add these parameters to our own photos so let me keep this turned on and let's go back to the promote and as you can see here we have this button now when we tap on this we can pick which photo we want to have as you can see night sky for example night view snapshot uh, street also scenery a uh, lot of this is here with cafe also and as you can see it changes this manual settings to these parameters we can also adjust it uh, manually now uh, so uh, this is really cool here and also by tapping on this we can easily go back 
uh, to auto so for now let me pick for example one of this to show you for example maybe nightfall so this is really dark and we can adjust ISO to make it more bright and let me take a picture and now let's go here to the left corner at the bottom when we tap on this we can see it so this is how it works thanks for watching subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up